Welcome, Mono Amigos, to a brand new episode of the Mono A Mono Show here on CKMS. Now, it said it, it's up on, uh, if you're watching, some people are listening live on CKMS 102.7. I know our intro still said 100.3. I didn't realize that. In all I was setting up, I didn't realize that the intro st- still said 100.3. It's been a little bit since uh, the Mono A Mono Show's been on the air. Now in its second dimension, uh, you can follow us on YouTube. Um, I would check out the DJ Steel page. That's where it's uh, also streaming live. I don't know if I can get that up. Boom. Look at that. Look at that technology. Um, yeah. Search in YouTube DJ Steel. The one with the sunflower with the speaker in it. That is the Mono A Mono Show. Things are going live on there. You can also, on YouTube, search Mono A Mono Radio. The one that says CKMS Mono A Mono Radio. Uh, we have tons of Canadian band stuff up there. It's it's now up on the thing. Um, most recently, we posted something where you can join Yukon Blonde on the stage. But there's a ton. There's tons. There's tons of videos. So many great Canadian music videos. 5440, Age of Electric, Wet Secrets, Royal Canoe, Dilly Dally, Sam Roberts. The question is, will some of them be on tonight's show? Tonight we have a special show, which which is why I wanted to get back on the radio tonight. Was to uh, go through our top ten of uh, 2017, the top 10 albums right here. Um, every year, the Mono A Mono Show is responsible for doing CKMS's top 10 albums of the year. In the past, there have been a few more than 10 uh, because there's been ties. It all base, it, it goes based upon votes uh, by Mono Amigos. People email us, tweet at us, 
things like that. If you if you want to tweet at us during the show, we're going to try and be tweeting at some of the bands as we uh, as we get to these top ten. Uh, but it's at MAM Radio at M A M Radio R A D I O or at the uh, radio station at Radio Waterloo. So, because we've got a pack show, I'm going to jump right into the first one. I'm going to call up here the album of the first one. This is actually number 10, number 10 on the countdown. So we'll count from 10 down to 1. The number 10 release this year. There is a lot of good stuff on this uh, countdown. I'm so glad, and I'm not, I'm not holding anything against Queens of the Stone Age or Foo Fighters, but they're promoted big stuff that I'm glad the Mono Amigos aren't, uh, aren't interested in pushing. We've got some interesting things in our top ten. So getting to the first one here. It's up on, uh, if you're watching on the YouTube right now, it's up on the screen. Um, At the Drive-In. At the Drive-In. One of my favorite bands is the Mars Volta. At the Drive-In came back, and uh, At the Drive-In was the members of the Mars Volta before they formed the Mars Volta. And uh, they kind of got back together to put this album together. They did a bit of a tour as well. I don't know how well the tour went. I know there were issues with um, uh, members and uh, playing live and, I don't know, vocal cords. I I don't know the whole story. But anyways, this album was darn good. I I feel like At The Drive-In was a little bit punkier than the Mars Volta. However, because this is after Mars Volta, it's got elements of Mars Volta within it. I'm going to get to a track here by this album. Uh, This is Incurably Innocent by At The Drive-In. Right here on CKMS 102.7.
All right, there it is. Some at the drive-in right there on CKMS 100.3. Now, this is this whole thing is a little bit new to me. Um, I right now I'm working. I've got going the uh, the video. Right now we're broadcasting live onto YouTube as well. Um, we are broadcasting live from the Monoway Mono Studios on CKMS, which is a brand new thing that, that we are able to do here. Um, in addition to that, I got all this stuff going. I'm working the video. I'm working the dials. Normally when I do the Monoway Mono Show, I've got DJ Adrock with me. DJ Adrock is running the dials, working all the stuff, and I'm just sitting back, relaxing, playing my music. So this is a little bit of extra stuff I got going on here. Um, but what you just heard was some at the drive-in right there in our number 10 spot. I was tweeting it out as we were going. Uh, you can follow us at MAM Radio. If you disagree with any of these choices, make sure to write in. Let us know. Um, we've got a bunch coming up. Now these are voted on by the Mono Amigos. And other DJs at the station. So it's not just my picks as my top 10. However, a lot of these ones in this uh, top 10 may be a slight order change. But m for the most part, they are as I think that uh, th they should be in there. Um, what happens from time to time? I'm going to get to uh, maybe talk about this quickly. Um, last year's top 10. I'm just going to turn down the background music here. Last year's top 10. I'm going to jump to that. Um, if you can see it there, number one was Age of Electric. Tied for number one. Now this is a key thing. Tied for number one because they both got the same amount of points in the voting system was Hot Hot Heat with The Kid Who Stays in the Picture which was also released last year. Um, and then we've got Radiohead, Smash Boom Pow, uh, Bad Bad Not Good, uh, The Pack AD, The Wet Secrets, Royal Canoe, and there were three tied for 10. Now, because we're doing a point system, ties happen all the time. Uh, so tied for number 10 there was uh, Ian Summers, Pup, and Nine Inch Nails. Um, Again, this year, there was one tie, and it's at the, at the number nine spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to, I'm going to go one right into the other, but I want to talk about both of these uh, here. The first one, I'm going to call it up. I don't have a vinyl, so it's a little bit smaller, is Gary Kane's album, Twangadelic Blues of Funk. It's there. Um, we've talked about it on the show. We had Gary Kane on the Monoway Mono Show to talk about this album with an interview, and that's posted on the Sound FM page and everything. By far one of the best guitarists in the entire world. He does appear on the Robot Apocalypse album. Uh, Inner Attitude Gauge is the song. Uh, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal guitar player. We're going to get to one of his tracks in a minute. And then the other one is a band from... Ah, it's not going to come up if I, if I click it now. Uh, but I'll, I'll switch to, the, uh, to their page just to plug their page a little bit. Um, Mirage. So on here it's Mirage 13, but I believe it's uh, Mirage. Uh, maybe it's Mirage 13. Mirage Band 13. I think it's just Mirage. But anyways, they were voted up, and I quite enjoy this uh, this track too. It's called Nameless. So as soon as the Gary Kane one is done, we're going to jump right into this Mirage band. And they're from London, uh, Ontario, so a local band here. Uh, and I believe, I'm not 100% sure, because it, there could be something that looks the same too. In this video, it looks like there is a clip from Dundas. Uh, my hometown. If we ever get the chance, we'll have to ask him about that. It looks like it's the uh, part where that leads up to the escarpment there. Um, who knows? Who knows? 
keep your eye out for it if you're from Dundas and uh, you know what that uh, overpass might look like. We're going to jump right into it. This is the first single off Twangadelic Blues of Funk. This is Gary Kane with his track, I Thought I Heard You Say. Well, it's just Thought I Heard You Say. Right here on Sound... Ooh, not Sound FM even anymore. CKMS 102.7. You're listening to the Mono A Mono Show. <laughs> Thought I heard you say 
right, there it is. Some Mirage right there on Sound FM 100.3. 102.7. Man, I'm going to get this soon. Um, for those of you, because YouTube is a new thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the YouTube people know. Because I imagine if anyone does even see this, they're going to say, how does this guy not even know his own radio station? Uh, that he's broadcasting on. And the reason that I am messing up the radio station, I I do know that it's 102.7. However, for the past many years, I haven't been with it this long, but since 1992, I believe, uh, it has been on uh, 100.3. And just recently... Uh, the the radio station th- this past February, and I've only been doing my show off and on since February. I, I did it more regularly before that. It was on 100.3, and now it's on 102.7. Because we helped out a First Nations uh, um, radio station called CKRZ. So uh, that is the reasoning t- as to why I'm messing this up. I have had over... Um, no, almost 10. I started in 2009. So almost 10. I'm coming up on 10 years. Uh, it'll be the ninth year as soon as tomorrow hits. Um, but almost 10 years of saying uh, 100.3. And we also dropped the Sound FM as well. It used to be called Sound FM in, in uh, 2009. Or 2008, I think, they introduced the Sound FM. There's a whole big documentary. Maybe I'll see if I can call that up right here. Is the poster for that documentary. Um, There's a whole big documentary about the station. Because so much happened around the university getting rid of uh, the funding for the station and uh, things like that. That... It even it includes suicide, everything. The, like it's a crazy story. So there's a documentary, and that's why the Monoway Mono Show has only kind of been off and on since uh, about February because we've been working on this documentary to put out there. So, anyways, that was our number ten and number nine. We had a tie for number nine right there, and I think I gave away a hint for number eight right before I went into uh, the second track there. It was tied for number nine. So we've got At the Drive-In at 10, Mirage uh, with Nameless at number nine, Gary Kane with Thought I Heard You Say at number nine. And now this is a change. Every year, every single year, dating as far back as we've been doing this, which is, let me just grab my notes here. Um, I think we've been doing this since 2013. I don't know, uh, 2013, I don't know if we've done it in 2012, but definitely 2013. Number one, The Mounties, featuring Ryan Dahl with their song Headphones. Uh, 2014, The Mounties, If This Dance Catches On, featuring Ryan Dahl. Um, 2015, number one, Limb Lifter with their track Dopamine, featuring... And the the lead singer of that uh, band, Ryan Dahl. Uh, 2016, tied for number one, was Age of Electric with their song Keys. Ryan Dahl obviously is, uh, well not obviously, maybe some people don't know, is the guitarist for Age of Electric. This is the first year since the inception of the top ten that Ryan Dahl will not be number one. Because if you heard the little hint that I put up, he's actually um, coming up next at number eight. And uh, I've got I, the, the way that he is in. Sorry, the way that he is in. I've got the album right here. I'll put it on the uh, display. Is they, the Age of Electric re-released this early this year. Uh, this is their Make a Pest a Pet album, which came out... Originally in 1996, with the hit song Remote Control on it. Now, since since Remote Control was already released in 1996, I'm going to go with a new track. So this album does come with some new tracks on it. 
Sorry, I'm trying to get that set up there. Uh, it does come with some new tracks on it. And I am going to get to one of these new tracks off of this album. This is their track 13. And this is the Age of Electric coming in at number 8 right here in the Radio Waterloo Mono a Mono Top 10 Releases of 2017. We're back here on CKMS 102.7, Mono A Mono. You just heard some Age of Electric coming in at our number eight spot. I'm going to jump right into the number nine one. Uh, I feel like i got to speed it up. I'm halfway through my program, and I'm not halfway through. Um, that was an amazing album. I would definitely, if you can, try and pick it up. Remote Control, I don't mind... Uh, Don't Wreck It, the main three singles off this. One, two, three, four extra tracks. Uh, One of my, a couple of, I I don't know, I have so many. Mad at the World is one of my favorites. Exist to to Resist is one of my favorites. Um, Oh, shoot, what is it? Cranky, one of my favorites. 
I it seems I bought a lot of oh that's why it wouldn't go down. I still got Gary Kane up there. I don't have the vinyl for Gary Kane, but I do have the uh, album right there. Um, Mirage 13 or Mirage Band 13. I just tweeted out to them. Um, haven't heard back from anyone yet, but I bought a lot of vinyl this year. Mirage is the only one I don't have the CD or the vinyl. I've been following them on the Facebook though, which is where I get these kind of YouTube updates and I threw them into the mix and they get that nameless song. I, I feel like it came out in November or December. Got lots of votes, which bumped it up there uh, to being in the top 10 coming in at number nine. Uh, I do have a vinyl for the number seven. I'm going to get it up here. There it is. Uh, L Luciferian Towers by Godspeed You Black Emperor. Now, as I was at the CKMS board meeting last night, I was talking with uh, Lieutenant Dang. Uh, and he was saying that he absolutely loved this album too. So I feel like it, as well as this being voted up there by myself and other Mono Amigos, it's got the, the seal of appro uh, approval of Lieutenant Dan as well. So here it is. I'm going to jump right into it. This is some instrumental music. It's, it, it's kind of genred as post-rock this is it coming in in the background. I'm not going to talk too much over it. Um, Post-rock, which is more of an instrumental feel, kind of alternative. Some darn good stuff if you haven't heard it. Check out Godspeed, you Black Emperor, right here on CKMS 100.3. Mono a mono!
right, there it is. There it is. That was some wet secrets right there. Wet secrets are another annual. Um, if you loved that, they are an. They have got great music. I, I'm looking back. 2013, the Wet Secrets came in our top ten at uh, number eight with their song "Sunshine." The next year, in 2014, the Wet Secrets came in at number three on our top ten with "Maybe We'll Make a Plan." In 2015, we did a top 15, and they came in number four with their track, I Can Swing a Hammer. 2016, Wet Secrets came in number eight with their track, Kel Supreme. And now it is 2017, and right there at number six is the Wet Secrets. And I want to get this track title right, because this just came out. It came out in December, I would say about a week ago. Uh, I've just been listening to it a little bit. I rated this very high. The album is called... The, where it's at. Whoa, it, iPhone is where it's at, yo. Um, but... <laughs> my background music right there. Um, Final Curtain for a Drama Queen is the track. The album is called The Tyranny of Objects. I don't have that one yet on vinyl. I do have a bunch of Wet Secrets on vinyl. Uh, I'm finding out as I go through this top uh, top 10 of 2017 that I do buy a lot of vinyl. Um, so right there was the Wet Secrets. Before them, you heard some Godspeed, you Black Emperor. Uh, and I'm going to get into another one. Actually, the next one here I do not have um, a vinyl for. But they were also, if I'm looking back into the top 10 of 2016 they came in at number five and they've been in it before i would have to look through these to find them again but uh number five and the band is smash boom pow i'm gonna get to they released a couple singles in 2017 and um this next this one in particular is a fantastic track it is called way too much Here it is on CKMS Radio Waterloo.
This next one here is Pick a Piper with their track Nico. This is the album if you're uh, following us on uh, YouTube right now. Um, those aren't little scribbles on the album. Those are a couple of the signatures. This is one of the most exciting bands to see perform live. If you do get a chance, make sure to check out Pick a Piper Live. These guys are coming in at our number four spot. I'm going to go a little bit quicker so that I can finish up in time. Number four, Pick a Piper right here. CKMS 102.7 Radio Wadlow. And you're listening to the Mono A Mono Show.
All right, thanks for listening, Mono Amigos. What you just heard, you heard some Smash Boom Pow. After that, you heard some Pick a Piper. I kind of introduced that one as, as the song was going. Uh, at the number three spot was Death From Above, 1979. Actually, they're only Death From Above now. They're not 1979 anymore, Death From Above. That's their new album, Outrage Is Now. An absolute amazing one. That track was called Moonlight. What you hear in the background is our number two release of the year. And this is kind of a number one because number one, I would say it's tied for number one. Number one was going to be impossible to beat. This is an amazing track. This is another post-rock album, kind of like the Godspeed You Black Emperor uh, I gotta get it up here. This is some Do Make Say Think. Here is the album. Absolutely beautiful artwork on this one. Um, even the inside of the album, everything. Another vinyl I bought this year. Uh, a great year for uh, albums that I quite enjoy purchasing on vinyl. Um... This isn't my favorite track of it, off it. Bound and Boundless is the, my favorite track off it, which are actually two tracks that go into each other, but we're running out of time here on the Mono A Mono Show. Um, so here is this track, Do Make Say Think. They were also the background music for the night. Um, coming in at number two, I'm going to probably have to go out on uh, Do Make Say Think. Number one... It's, it's kind of unfair. It's the Stations album. I'm going to keep playing it on YouTube. So if you want to, follow us on YouTube at the uh, DJ Steel page. Look for the uh, symbol with the sunflower, with the speaker in the sunflower. But I've only got a minute left on the FM here. Um, Ro- uh, Robot Apocalypse is coming in at number one. And it includes some collaborations by Life in Vacuum as well um, Life in Vacuum, as well as um, Ulysses Copert of Smash Boom Pow. So, another awesome, I, I, I've got the vinyl here that I'm going to put up of that one as well. Um, another great release 2017 Top Releases. Some great music. Released in 2017, here is some Do Make Say Think, right here on CKMS 100.3, Mono A Mono.
for listening mono amigos again as always if you take exception please leave a comment in the uh, comments below and let us know what you think should be in the top 10 of 2017 top 10 releases of 2017 thanks for listening uh we'll be back in two weeks from now two weeks from now on the mono mono show and on ckms 102.7 fm